Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be fitting a brand new set of Bilstein X Evolve EDC dampers. So let's take a closer look at the dampers. We did actually have a set of Bilstein EDC dampers on our FATM3 and they were great, we were big fans of them, but we thought that some adjustments could be made, especially for UK roads. Bilstein do all their development in Germany and the roads are substantially better quality than we get here. So I spoke to Bilstein UK and they said, that's no problem, we can work with you and give you what you want. So what we have here is a set of Bilstein B6 EDC dampers, but they are valve to our specification. So essentially what we wanted is more comfort on the soft setting without losing body control and we wanted a slightly stiffer setting on the Sport Plus without being too stiff but giving a differentiation between the different modes. A lot of people with a normal B6 said they couldn't tell the difference between the different modes as much but with these you definitely can. Suspension fitted, let's take it for a drive and see what it is like. Little disclaimer for you obviously, the suspension has been in development for around two years now. So, the final prototype I have had on the car for around 18 months. So, this is not exactly the first drive, but it's the first time I'm going to give you guys impressions of it. So, the car does start off in sport mode, so I'll just put it into comfort, which is the softer setting, which I find on particularly bumpy roads is the better setting to have it on. And the car is just so flat and compliant at the same time. It just seems to have much more control even going over these undulating sections. That's before you get to a corner. I've noticed on hard braking, the car doesn't pitch as much with these new Evolve Bilstein dampers. And in the corners, it's just so flat. It almost feels like you've also fitted a set of anti-roll bars when we haven't. This car is a stock ZCP or competition pack and we haven't 
changed out the anti-wall bars for anything but it's just got so much control remember this is in comfort which we've made slightly softer than Bill Stein's own setting on the B6 but this is just fantastic This is one of my favourite stretches of road that's near us and the car I enjoy it most in is our F87 M2 because it's so nimble and I have to say with this suspension change this car feels a lot more like the M2 than an M3 which in my books is a really good thing. So that was that stretch of road in comfort. It's still very comfortable compliant it handles the undulations really well the sports setting we have made the same as Bill Stein's own B6 so because the comfort setting is softer you get more of a change going to this mode so again it's still handling the bumps pretty well but it just feels a little bit sharper how it handles this bump yeah just so confidence inspiring it's made such a big difference to the way the car rides and handles and this car is quite powerful and the other thing I've noticed is that when you're launching it doesn't bog down as much so when you're coming out of corners you just feel like you've got extra bits of traction remember this is now in the sport mode so it's slightly stiffer and it's still super comfortable and we are running this with MSS suspension at the moment which is obviously helping the rear springs with a triple spring rate works really well with these but I have tested them with normal springs like H&R and they work really well with those also. There is one more setting to try which is the Sport Plus so we've made the Sport Plus even stiffer so you get much more of a difference between the different modes sometimes it's hard to tell what's being changed but with our version of the Bill Stein B6s we can really tell the difference <laughs> And it's not something I would have particularly on this road, but if you were on a road that was a lot smoother, then this would definitely be worth trying. But that's the beauty of having three different settings. You can suit it to what you like and your road conditions at a touch of the button. But even in this slightly stiffer mode, it's still very good. feels like it's got so much more traction coming out of the corners. And out of the box, the F80 M3 and F82 M4 are not my most favorite handling cars, but this really has changed the dynamics of the car. It's made it a lot more fun, in my opinion. But the Sports Plus setting, I would reserve for really smooth roads and track use. That's what we've really had it made for but overall this is a great upgrade it's taken us a long time to get it to market but i think it's been worth the wait so this project has been two years in the making we've had a lot of delays especially in terms of production bill stein have had a lot of closures due to covid but finally we got there with the factory and we have this product ready I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. It's really exciting for me personally to have our own brand name on a Bilstein product and co-develop it with them. I've been buying Bilstein products before I started this business to actually see that is a proud moment for myself. But the product itself, as I mentioned in the driving review, is improved everywhere. The car doesn't pitch on braking and acceleration. It goes through the corners very flat and is also very compliant. Now the product has been designed for lowering springs but also stock springs so these cars are getting on a bit now seven to eight years old so some stock dampers will need replacing anyway because they'll be worn out and not their best so these are an ideal replacement for that they actually cost less than the oem edc dampers from bmw and you are getting an improved product i'm really happy with the way we've improved the range from them as well so the comfort setting is softer 
than the standard Billstone one and the Sport Plus is slightly harder so you get much more of a difference between the settings. We do have this product in stock so if you guys are interested in ordering it we'll put the links down below. This is the first of many products we are going to be making with Billstein. The next one is the E92 M3 with EDC and after that we'll be doing the i3. Once those two projects are done we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.